Hey guys, Tom here from SynthHacker.com and welcome back to another tutorial for x -ray Serum. In this video we're going to be looking at making kind of like a big room electro lead in the style of someone like Bass Jackers. really really um, crunchy electro style lead and that is actually coming completely from Serum there's like no external effects on that or anything so just imagine what you could do with this sound if then you went to process it externally with like distortion and stuff like that um, this, this is just a really really great starting point for that kind of like big room electro lead um, you'll have to excuse my voice in this tutorial um, it might sound a little bit croaky it's because I'm quite ill at the minute but I still just wanted to get this tutorial out for you guys um, so we're going to be making this sound completely from scratch. Um, so let's go ahead and initialize the preset. Um, just before we start making it, I'll mention that that is one of the leads in my main room EDM um, Serum preset pack. Um, if you want to go check that out, there's a link in the description below to my website, or you can uh, head over to synthhacker.com. Um, there's an audio demo on there as well. Um, and loads of other preset packs for Serum that you might be interested in as well, including a mega pack for Serum which contains over 600 uh, presets that I've created myself um, for you guys. So definitely go check that out if you want to get your hands on some really nice presets for Serum. And thanks in advance if you do decide to purchase that. Um, but without further ado, let's begin making the sound. There's a lot going on in this, so it might take a while to get through. Um, but I do want to make sure that I'm explaining what I'm doing so you guys actually get a thorough understanding of, of what's going on in the sound. Okay, so hopefully my voice won't die on me. Um, but let's start off in the oscillator section. So we're going to be using os both oscillator A and oscillator B for the sound. So just make sure they're both switched on. Um, the other thing to make sure is that oscillator A is one octave below oscillator B and the wavetable that we're going to use are waveform rather because we are just keeping the wavetable position um, as it is, it's just a wave, one waveform. Um, we're just going to use this hypersaw waveform. Um, I really really like this using this alt, like alt, like as an alternative to just a regular sine wave sometimes um, simply c because it's curved it kind of gives the sound a little bit more body it's hard to explain it um, but yeah it, it just sounds it sounds really really great for this type of sound that I find usually um, the next thing we're gonna do is just give both of these oscillators seven voices of unison and then we're just going to bring the detune down uh, a little bit. This is just to really thicken up the sound. It just means that both oscillators are outputting a waveform with seven slightly detuned voices. And it just really helps to wind up the sound. So I'll just show you what we've got so far. <clears throat> so nowhere near the sound yet. You can kind of hear um, just the just plain old solos at the minute we have got a little while to go yet so the next thing I'm gonna do is just go into the noise oscillator and just to give kind of some more emphasis on the high end of the sound we're gonna use the analog uh, which was it? I think it was bright white I used um, and what I'm gonna do here we're, we're gonna set up a, a different amplitude envelope for the noise than our actual sound so we might as well set up the amplitude uh, envelope here um, it's kind of a weird uh, a weird uh, kind of amplitude envelope uh, it needs to be kind of like linear instead of like a curved um, decay so like that and then we're just going to give it a little bit of release so this is just the um, amplitude for the sound as a whole which is envelope one and then what we're going to do <coughs> is go into uh, envelope two and we're just going to bring the decay down a little bit this is going to be the amplitude for the uh, noise wave uh, noise source sorry um, so then we're going to increase the release a little bit as well. So we've got this like decay and then release and then simply drag and drop it onto the level and break it down a bit uh, uh, like break it down a bit. We don't want the noise like completely dominating the sound. So now we've got this. So it just helps kind of emphasize the high end a little bit and this will be a little bit more obvious once we're um, employing the use of a filter. Um, the next thing we're going to do, however, before moving on to the filter, is you'll notice in the audio demo at the start, and um, it's quite common in these kind of sounds, 
is the really, really subtle um, picture envelope that's going on. <clears throat> so what we need to do for this is just bring the decay and sustain right down. We're going to have a really, really um, kind of short envelope. And then what we're going to do is drag and drop onto the coarse pitch. And then what you need to do is press Alt and Shift to change the mode. Um, I'm not sure what the command is on Mac, I'm sorry I don't use Mac, but whatever command it is to, to change the type. And then what we're going to do is click and bring, drag it down like this. And essentially what this means um, is going to happen is that at the start of the sound, um, we're going to hear a, a really quick rise in pitch. Um, I'll, I'll show you what, what this sounds like in a second, let me just set up the same again. So uh, Alt Shift to change the type and then bring it down. And essentially the, the cost pitch is like the, the master pitch for that single oscillator and I'll show you what this sounds like. So you can hear there that adds like a really nice bit of polish to the sound, it's a really cool effect. Um, we are going to be EQing the low end of the sound later on in the effects chain so it won't sound, it'll sound like much better. Um, I find it better when you take some of the low end of that pitch bend out. Um, but yeah, that's just a really, really great way to get that kind of effect, that like pitch change in effect, where it's really quick. Just make sure that your envelope is really short, um, otherwise it kind of dominates the sound a little bit too much. Um, but yeah, that's just a really, really, really cool effect on leads like this. The next thing we're going to do <coughs> is go into the filter section. We're going to use this Moog Low Pass uh, 12 dB filter. Um, we're going to make sure everything is being routed through the filter, including the noise oscillator. We're going to bring the cutoff right down, and the envelope we're going to use for the cutoff is actually going to be the amplitude envelope. So just simply drag and drop that on. Uh, bring the resonance down a little bit. And the other thing we're going to do is reduce the mix amount just a little bit. Um, we're going to be using multiband compression um, later on in the sound. And one effect that I really like on aggressive leads is if you root some of the signal um, and make it bypass the filter and then put a multiband compressor on it later on, um, it really brings some of the raw signal out as well as the filter. It's just a really, really cool effect. <laughs> So with the sound is getting there, um, I'm just going to boost the overall volume a little bit. <clears throat> um, so not much left to do in this section, um, so let's move into the effects section. Um, the first effect we're going to stick on here is the hyper dimension effect. We're going to use the dimension expander, we're not that bothered about the um, hyper um, unison effect. Um, and we're just going to bring the mix right up to over halfway and bring the size down a little bit. And this really, especially when you, you know, you're creating leads like this, which is like big room EDM, um, the dimension expander is a really, really useful effect for these type of sounds. You can really hear it kind of puts it in like a really big space. Um, it's just really, really cool. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is add some tube distortion. So just the default, we're going to change the setting to pre and then we're going to EQ it. So this is a really, really cool tip if you're going to use distortion on lead sounds. Um, generally, I like to put distortion on just the high end of the sound. And this is a really, really useful feature within um, Serum's distortion that Steve Duda decided to include, which is really, really great, is that you can choose to just distort a specific uh, band of frequencies, which is really, really cool. Um, so yeah, we're just going to put the mix, bring the mix down a little bit, we don't want it to be too extreme, and just in increase the drive a little bit, and it just adds a nice bit of like warmth, a nice bit of distortion to the sound, which is really, really useful on like an electro house lead. <laughs> Really, really cool. Um, the next thing we're going to do is include the multiband compression that I was talking about. And this really is going to make the biggest difference. It's going to really, um, if you click the multiband um, section and bring the gain up a little bit, um, and then what else do we need to do? I think we, you, we can just leave the, the settings as they are. We might want to increase the release a little bit. But what this will do now is bring out a lot of the highs of the sound and a lot of the signal that's been routed through the filter um, that uh, is kind of like bypassing it. It'll be brought out. I'll show you what I mean. <laughs> Yeah, 
really really amazing um this is probably like one of my f favorite features um in serum and it's basically kind of emulating the uh, ott compressor that x4 records brought out which is like a free plugin which i highly recommend um and that is also an emulation of an emulation so it's like uh it's a, an emulation of ableton's over the top compressor as well um but it's like built into the synth which is absolutely awesome i absolutely love that feature um the next thing we're going to do is just add some reverb you can either use serums reverb or you could use like an external one it's completely up to you um one thing we're going to do is increase the low cut parameter um just a little bit and the high cut parameter we don't want to route too many low frequencies through the reverb or it's going to sound really muddy and finally just to polish up the sound a little bit we're just going to use an eq to roll off uh, a little bit of the low end um as i mentioned earlier and here's our finished sound absolutely awesome um just it's absolutely incredible that you can get sounds out of this uh like out of serum like this um without using any external effects at all absolutely awesome so hopefully you got some use out of this tutorial um as i mentioned at the start if you want to get your hands on some presets for serum go ahead and check out synthhacker.com which is my website um tons of presets on there for you guys to check out tons of awesome leads like this and just um loads of other sounds that you'll find useful for your productions as well um, and yeah, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please do. That's one of the best ways to support me in the videos that I put up. And that way you can stay up to date with new tutorials that I bring out as well. Um, leave a like if the video was helpful to you and feel free to comment any questions or anything like that below as well. I'll try to get back to you. Um, but yeah, thanks a lot for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.